Good day everyone! Once again, I am your teacher for today, Teacher Daisy. Today, we will have another topic in science. This is an interesting topic that is related to ecosystem and marine animals. Sit back and listen carefully as we start. the answer but before that let's discuss our topic for today other than ecosystem open up into the ocean this is where fresh water meets saline or salty water the salt content of the water in an estuary is lower than the open sea but higher than in the river. The water is said to be brackish or somewhat salty. Estuaries are home of diverse group of plants and animals. As you can see in the illustration, many types of animals benefit and live in the estuaries. In the Philippines, mangroves or bakawan grown in abundance in estuaries. These mangrove forests are important breeding grounds for marine animals. An estuary also serves as nesting and feeding sites for animals. Generally, salinity levels are highest near the mouth of the river where the ocean water enters. The influence of ocean water is dominant and lowest upstream where fresh water flows in. However, actual salinity varies throughout the tidal wave or tidal cycle, low tide or high tide. Salinity levels in estuaries typically decline when rain increases the freshwater flow from streams and groundwater. Salinity levels usually rise during the summer when higher temperatures increase levels of evaporation in the estuary. This how animals interact in the type of ecosystem. Can you identify the prey and the predator? How about the consumer and the producer? As you see in the illustration, this is an example of an ocean layer. Intertidal zone is an area where land meets ocean water. It is the area of the ocean between the high tide and low tide lines. The line created at the high tide is the higher limit and the line created Lines. The defining characteristic of intertidal zone is that it is submerged in water during high tide and exposed in the air during low tide. The zone can take many forms, from sandy beaches to rocky cliffs. It is common for the intertidal zone to change frequently since it is battered by crashing waves. This changing nature of the zone make it somewhat harsh environment for living things. Normally, environments on Earth are either completely dry or completely wet. But the fact that the intertidal zone is always changing leads to the organisms that are uniquely adapted to live there. The intertidal zone is divided into smaller parts. The spray zone, driest part, is more a part of a land than the ocean. High intertidal zone is flooded only once or twice daily during tides. Middle intertidal zone is mostly submerged except for a short period during low tide and low intertidal zone is generally submerged and exposed only during spring tides. The pictures show the different layer of the intertidal zone together with the marine organism that live there. Generally, the estuaries and intertidal zone is a marine ecosystem. As a human being, our responsibility is to protect this ecosystem for our future generation. That's it. Thank you for listening. Bye! 
I am your teacher for today, Teacher Daisy.